Hi Capricorn, welcome back for your full moon Pisces reading, September 10th, 2022, for the next two to four weeks. Apparently this full moon is about healing the soul. So, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> um, let's have a look at your reading. The first column is what the full moon is closing out for you. And, um... It looks like there can be some financial instabilities or physical instabilities, or maybe both. Maybe you're not feeling optimal right now. Um, the Five of Pentacles card always talks about lack mentality. Um, and I don't know. You have, you have the Six of Cups here. So I have a feeling that there is um, a reason or a lesson... I would say in sharing. The Six of Cups is about sharing in this case, with when you have it with the Five of Pentacles. Of course, it's situations that come back from uh, the past that sort of come back to be reevaluated or, um, you know, to better understand what happened in the past. Uh, but it's also about sharing, and the Six of Cups is a really sweet card. The fact that there are so many planets retrograde now, it makes sense that uh, the past is coming back for a review. And this can be um, understanding where lack mentality came from or why you think you feel like you maybe don't belong in maybe a group or a certain place or with certain people. But there are links to the past with this. Let's have a clarification card there with that. So Five of Pentacles is about financial or physical instability. Well, I think something happened that was unexpected. Maybe a belief system uh, from your past or there were shakeups or, you know, in the past, maybe foundations were never emphasized that a strong foundation is really necessary to build upon. And, um, and you're kind of seeing the shaky um, house now because of that. But, you know, this is just about reviewing the past. And so your response is stellar as far as I'm concerned. You have the emperor. Now, this can be then how a father figure may have um, set up foundations or lack of foundation. Um, and this doesn't even have to be directly this lifetime, but it can be a, a, a past. But in any case, you're dealing, it, dealing with it in these two to four weeks or during this lunar phase. And it, it, because this is a soul healing uh, moon, uh, this is a perfect opportunity to review this situation and maybe also to review your own um, ability to lay down the law for yourself. Um, now, this emperor and how, uh, how you are behaving, he has gold all around him. He, he's, got, he's got the uh, treasure right there with him. In fact, he's practically sitting on it. So I have the feeling that what you need uh, to create more uh, of a financial stable life is right there it's it's with you and um it's nothing that you have to seek outside of yourself um it's with you it's right with you there's a treasure box and that can just be your own ability to be your own authority so the four of uh, the emperor is authority and you are your own authority but there's something I think that you have to see from another perspective. 
So in a way, The Hanged Man is about um, letting go of control. It's not your will, it's the divine will. And I think that's a little bit of your um, thinking at the moment or how you want to approach the situation. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing. As long as you have the understanding of why it happened, of why those foundations weren't built correctly in the first place. And if this has something to do with responsibility, the Ten of Wands. Um, it's seeing something through to the end, to the bitter end, to the long haul <laughs> towards the end. And it is, it's arduous, it's long. The Ten of Wands is you're carrying a heavy load of responsibility. You're almost there. You can see the house in sight, but um, it's plotting. It's, it's, you're getting there. And the Ten of Wands, the Ten, obviously, is the end of the cycle. It's end of one cycle while you're beginning another one. And so what you do not want to do is set up a new cycle on, um, un, on unstable ground and so it's really a good idea for you at this time to understand foundations, how you, um, what is your ruling, what is your law about creating foundations. And yes, um, spirit has a hand in it with the, um, with the uh, hanged man card, sure, it's, you know, but it's always two-sided, it's both. It's always both. So, yes, you give some power to spirit, but the idea here is to see to change your perspective, and that's your part in this. And when you do that, you'll see that you're closer to the end result than you think. Also, it's important to allow other people to deal with their own responsibilities. You don't have to take on everyone else's. And so you have also this sharing card here, and... Um, I think there's twofold here. Uh, people will share with you. You can share with other people. But that's more on an emotional level. With the Ten of Wands, it's, you don't have to take up their, their responsibility. And in fact, sometimes it cheats them out of um, learning something themselves. So you are responsible for yourself. And that emanates outward. The result of the two weeks or this lunar phase is the temperance card and the queen of wands. Temperance card is asking you to have patience while this phase is changing into something else. This temperance card is the card of alchemy and so something is definitely changing. Something is definitely leaving one phase and moving into the next, but it'll take a little time and patience is required. There's a queen of wands involved, very possibly. This is somebody who is physically um, attractive. And even if they're not physically attractive, they are very attracting. They attract... Um, people to them and I would say they're just people that have a really great I think they're uh, this is my Leo card so they're very social they like to talk they like to be in the public um, but sort of magic works through them they just have that appeal about them and I would like to have a so you, you know um, Queen of Wands, Leo, that is uh, August, so we just left that. So you might even be looking at a year before, um, I would say, before the phase really changes for you. It's not to say that it will always be this difficult, no, but I think uh, there's an indication of, of August period or... Um, an, an, an August uh, Leo moon that's also possible 
So the clarification card for that is the star. Yes, yes, it's far away. So the star always tells me that there is, um, there's, it, there's a distance to a star, so it is far away. So timing can be difficult. However, whatever you're working on, whatever is um, moving in that direction is under a lucky star, and you'll be guided to where you need to go. And um, if, in fact, at this time you don't know where or what, um, in time you will see that, uh, that you are being guided. I think also, um, I want to say spirit is, is with you, very close with you right now. Um, there may also be information that you can glean during this period that will help you uh, for future endeavor. And that's something you should definitely look into or pay attention to especially as the emperor, because if there's something that you want to get started and it's going to take some time, um, getting all the information now will help you to set up those foundations correctly. Six of Pentacles. It's another sharing card, really. It is. Um, this is more about a financial sharing as opposed to an emotional one, which you see here with the Six of uh, Cups. But it's also saying... Um, who are you giving your money to, and what are they doing with it? Uh, so be mindful about, you know, where you're giving out money and finances. Uh, this can also be a medication card, and so you might want to check on medications that you're taking or the combinations or that sort of thing. Um, that's also uh, included in this card. And that may be for somebody, not everybody. Okay. Um, you have quite a few major arcana cards here. So I do think that there's really a lot of healing going on a soul level. And that's not something that, um, that happens quickly. And so I understand why you would need the temperance card and um, why it's a slower process than normal. But it's the shakeups that are going to uh, to reveal a lot for you in the direction that you're going to go and also what it is that needs to find its balance. And it will. You have two sixes, so it will absolutely find its balance. Give it some time. And uh, and you, I think, you know, if, if you're the emperor, you want to be self-sufficient. You absolutely can be. You can be your own boss. All right? Very good. Thank you very much for for listening. Um, I'll be back in two weeks for the new moon reading. And in the meantime, enjoy the full moon and enjoy the healing of your soul. Thanks.